apply Kruskal's algorithm to find a minimum cost spanning tree. So because we have a spanning tree, we're going to be looking for three things. First thing is that the graph is going to be connected, so you will be able to get from one vertex to another. The second thing is that all the vertices are going to be used. And then the third thing is that there are no circuits. So in using Kruskal's algorithm, it's kind of like the sorted edges algorithm in the fact that we have to sort the edges first. So I'm just going to list them out in numerical order. So I got my 4, then a 7, and then a 9, 11, 14, 21. Okay, so I'm going to start with the least cost one, which is going to be the 4. Okay, if I use the 7, I'm not going to create any circuits, so that one's fine. If I use the 9, I'm going to create a circuit, so we're not going to use that. Okay, the 11 doesn't create a circuit. If I use the 14, that would close out the circuit between L, M, P, and N, so I'm not going to use that. If I use 21, that's going to close out a circle, circuit between M, N, and P. So I'm not going to use that one. So let's see if everything works. So first of all, it is connected because I can get from L to M to P to N. They'll all be connected. All the vertices have an edge coming out of them, and there's no circuits. So this is our minimum cost spanning tree using just the 4, the 7, and 11. So this has a cost of 22. Look at another one. We'll do the same thing. Start by listing out the edges in order. So we have a 2, 3, 4, 2 fives, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I got them all. So now we're going to do the same thing. Start going through them and use them as you can. So the first one will always be used. Okay, the second one would also always be used. You'll never make a circuit. Okay, number four will be used because it's not creating a circuit. It's okay to have more than two edges coming out of a vertex. Okay, we're not using sorted edges algorithm. And we're not trying to create a Hamiltonian circuit, so it's okay to visit C more than once. Okay, we got a couple fives. If I use the five at the top, that's going to close out a circuit between A, B, and C. So I'm not going to use that. If I use the five between B and D, that's going to close out a circuit between C, B, and D. So I'm not going to use that. Okay, the next one is six. If I use 6, that's going to close out a circuit between A, C, and D. So I'm not going to use that. 7 looks okay. It's not going to close out a circuit anywhere because there's only one edge coming out of E. Uh, looking at 8, if I were to use 8, that's going to close out a circuit between A, E, B, and C. That little kind of a X there, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, with 9, that would close out a circuit between A, C, and E, so we're not going to use that. 11 will close out a circuit as well. Okay, so if you take a look at all of the vertices, they all have an edge coming out of them. I don't have any circuits anywhere. So that's our minimum cost spanning tree. Let's see what the cost is. So we got it 16.